So how do we create this custom dropdown in a cell in a repeating group? There's so many times that you need to actually have more options within a repeating group cell. Let me show you the trick to be able to create this functionality. So what we're looking for here is when we click on this, these three dots, which signifies um, options, we want a basically a custom dropdown to appear that we can interact with. So that would be perhaps edit this row or delete the rows or some other option. So I've gone ahead and created this in advance. Here is the icon we're going to be using. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this icon. I'm going to say group elements in a group. I'm just going to drag this out slightly so I can see. Okay, I'm going to call this group option. And this is the trick. So what we're going to actually do is convert it to a reusable element, create the functionality in a reusable element, and then take that reusable element and replace that icon I've just created with that reusable element. And therefore, we have nested functionality that will work in every cell. So convert into a reusable element. Let's call this options. OK, now I'm going to grab a group focus, draw it about that big. The reference element is going to be that icon with three dots. And I'm just going to shift this up a bit. So will 100 do? Actually, this is too big. So 110. Let's make this 100 by 60. Let's remove that. I'm just going to style this very quickly, so hang in there. Just so, yep, that's fine. Five corners of five. Um, white background, and let's just give it a shadow style so we can see it. Spread of four. All right, I'm speeding through this because it's not as important as the desired functionality. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then basically, we just create our options within this group focus. So this, perhaps this is view. Uh, maybe the one says, let's say delete. And then when we click on one of those, you know, something happens. Uh, and at the end of that thing happening, we just hide the group focus. But we also have to initiate the group focus, right? So when we click on those three icons, and this will happen when we're in the repeating group, but when those three icons are clicked, we're just going to show the group focus. OK, pretty simple. So click the three dots to show the group focus. Here are our options, and we can run these options. Uh, let me change this. This is too large. Let's make this 14. Therefore, the line height needs to be 21. 21 line height. You want to learn about line height and text formatting and all of that, we actually run a build camp runs a design camp. Uh, and it's been very successful in the past where we're going to detail about how to work with text images, responsiveness, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, I'm happy with that. So back on the page, now I'm actually going to delete this. Let me just delete this because I've already created a reusable element from it. I'm going to go find my options reusable. I'm going to drop it in the cell. And I'm just going to align it to the right hand side and then center vertically. OK, now I'm going to create a data source that says the current cell's person. This is just a repeating group type of content of person. That means we can feed through any data that we need. If that pop up interacts with user data, uh, which it will, right? If you're viewing, you need to view a particular person. We just need to make sure that that's passed through. Uh, this reusable element. OK, great. Let's try this. So now if I click on this guy here, there we have it. And then I can go and I can view something about them. And it's the same in all of them. 
So basically that's the trick. Reusable elements creates all the functionality and then we just drop that reusable elements in that cell and then feed through that current cell's data. So we have data to play with in the reusable element.